back on American soil for the time for Christmas. Still ahead here at noon, details on the release of U.S. hostages held for months in Venezuela and the deal that brought them home. Kyle. And Mark, no snow across central Indiana for Christmas this year, but it does look like we'll be getting some rain and several chances for some rainfall coming our way. We'll talk about how much it will all add up to and how it could impact your travel plans. You're watching WRTV News at Noon. Now to a high stakes prisoner swap between the U.S. and Venezuela. A plane with six of the 10 Americans released landing in San Antonio, Texas late Wednesday night. Top Biden administration officials helped negotiate their release. Liz Landers is in D.C. with more details on who was released and why. Free at last, free at last. Those were the words of one of the 10 Americans freed overnight after being jailed in Venezuela. Six of the 10 Americans landing in San Antonio considered wrongfully detained and held for more than a year, like Avon Hernandez, a Los Angeles public defender detained and accused of being a spy. All you think about when you're in prison is uh, how you didn't appreciate being free. Hernandez thanking President Biden, who recognized the moment during comments to reporters in Milwaukee. And we've secured the release of every American being held in Venezuela on their way home. And uh, we have no higher priority than the release of detained and or hostages, re Americans being held hostage. The deal brokered between the U.S. and Venezuela also returned to the U.S. notorious fugitive Leonard Glenn Francis, better known as Fat Leonard, who was the mastermind behind a $35 million military bribery scheme to which he pleaded guilty in 2015 to using prostitutes, luxury travel, and bribing Navy officers. In exchange, the U.S. granting clemency to one person, Alex Saab, an ally of Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro, who had been arrested in 20. 20, accused of money laundering. In a statement, Maduro describing the prisoner swap as a step on a path towards respect, equal treatment, and understanding between the U.S. and Venezuela, while Biden called it progress. But the U.S. is still urging Venezuela to hold free and fair elections. In Washington, Liz Landers, ABC News. A warning this noon from the FBI about gift card scams. According to the FTC, gift card fraud cost Americans more than $160 million in the first nine months of this year. And there's been a sharp spike in scams this holiday season. The FBI released a video showing how criminals tamper with gift cards, shoplifting them from stores and placing a bogus security sticker over the real one. The scammers reseal the packaging and put them back into stores where unsuspecting customers fill these compromised cards with money that is sometimes instantly stolen. One woman says she fell victim when she gave a $200 Target gift card as a baby gift. When the new mom went to spend the money, it wasn't there. I was scratching out that silver metallic security lining at the store, at the cash register with all of her baby purchases, and it comes up zero balance. And also there was um, a note that said that this gift card had been assigned to another account. Gift card scams have been around for years, but the FBI says never at the volume they're seeing now. The FBI says if you buy a gift card, look to see if the packaging seems tampered with. Also, buy gift cards kept behind a counter and save the receipts. Ready or not, a new season almost here in central Indiana. Winter officially arriving just before 1030 tonight. You just wouldn't really note it by the forecast because we've got some warmer temperatures that have been moving in here from the south and west. Right now it's 52 in Kansas City, Indianapolis sitting at 43 degrees, and this is just the start of things here. Next several days we're talking about high temperatures at or above 50 degrees, even around 60 here for Christmas Eve. So that's about 20 degrees above average. Even as we look beyond Christmas there, we're still looking at temperatures that are well into the 40s. Right now it's 43 as mentioned in India as we've got those clouds around, but still some breaks letting in a little bit of sunshine. 44 in Lafayette and 47 in Bloomington. Not as breezy today, so that helps kind of take a little bit of the coolness out of the air, but there are those clouds. They will continue to stream through here this evening, but we're not looking at any wet weather.
Taylor. So if you are heading out to the Indianapolis airport there and catching a flight, weather's not going to be an issue for you. Temperatures in the upper 40s in Danville today. Same for you in Greenwood and Muncie. 51 in Columbus. Tonight, checking out Christmas nights of lights here as we're getting closer to the Christmas holiday. And we've got temperatures that will be in the 40s for us right on through 8 o'clock this evening. We're still at 41 as we've got mostly cloudy skies. So tomorrow morning, the clouds don't go anywhere. And you see a little bit of light green showing up here. Maybe a sprinkle.